Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Pat O'Brien. Welcome to the College Football Report. Coming up in just a few moments, the game of the year in the Pac-10 Conference, the James Gang. Those top-ranked Washington Huskies will put up their perfect record and the Rose Bowl bid. They'll put it on the line against a school that, well, they used to consider the Rose Bowl as part of its annual schedule, the Trojans of Southern California. First, let's go right to the scoreboard and check... It's only an empty stadium unless you play in the Pac-10. But on January 1st, the opportunity to play in this stadium, the Rose Bowl, becomes special. The players from Washington and Southern Cal have dreamed of such a chance because to play here means you are the Pac-10 champion. And today is the day that champion will be crowned. The Washington Huskies are the nation's top team, and it's been the defense that has carried them to such lofty heights. A close-knit group, Huskies Holmes and Rogers, the Amber and Kelly, have punished opponents this season, causing 45 turnovers. The USC Trojans have also found a source of pride on the defensive side of the ball. Hard-nosed, aggressive, and fiercely competitive, Trojans Del Rio and Bickett, Colorado and McDonald have carried USC to its best conference start since 1976. In Los Angeles, California, it's the Washington Huskies versus the USC Trojans. number one for the last four weeks they've won three in a row over the Trojans five of the last eight <laughs> Trojans have won five in a row and Ted Tolner in his second year trying to return USC to the Rose Bowl for the first time since 1980 in Huskies Steve Jordan will kick off for the Trojans Danny Green and Lonzel Hill will go back for the Washington Huskies. Last year, Washington won 24 to nothing in Seattle. This will be Lonzel Hill. Sick row, his second start. He had three touchdown passes a week ago. Walt Hunt starting in the place of Rick Finney, who has a shoulder problem. Jock Robinson coming on strong, two straight 100-yard days. Danny Green, the big play performer for the Huskies. And Mark Patterson, he makes the tough catch. And Tony Roten, after being hurt early in the year, has come back strong at tight end. Sikoro had that big day last week where he threw those three touchdowns and put, his, put 44 points on the scoreboard against Cal. From the 20, Danny Green goes in motion for the Huskies, and they're going to throw on their first opportunity from the line of scrimmage. Jock Robinson makes the catch, and he'll pick up four yards to the 24. Tommy Haynes, number nine, over to make the tackle. Didn't save throw. Roden goes in motion. Second down and six. Jock Robinson across the 25 to the 26-yard line. He'll still be four yards short of the first down. Third and four is Brent Moore and Tony Colorado make the tackle. Playing on a bad knee. And Robertson's had all kinds of problems with Achilles tendon. Ernest sees their best lineman, their fastest lineman, an all-conference candidate. Burnham has started since the third week of the season, and Gogan weighs 290 pounds. He's six foot seven. Third down and four. Sick row with time, but he overthrows his intended receiver, David Trimble, number 23. Tim McDonald, the strong safety defending for the Trojans. Reception. Shane Cleveland to punt. He had a brilliant day last week. No big rush, and he hit a beauty. Beautiful punt. Daryl Hopper at the 21-yard line for USC. Hopper will bring it out to the 32. Up front, Tim Green, who's won all five games he started for USC. Pola, he's a force at the middle. Excellent blocker. Crutcher. He's a five-yard man. He won't break the big one for you. And Randy Turner, a freshman, they think he's going to be a great player. Hank Norman's caught at least one pass in 19 straight games. Boyer, an excellent blocker at tight end. Ted Toner's decision to defer at the begin beginning of the game has paid off here because he's got pretty good field position right now on his first possession. From the 32, Green gives off to Crutcher. Crutcher picked up and dropped by Ron Fitzpatrick. 6'8", 270 pounds. Vastly improved. Bring on. <laughs> He's got that defensive mentality. Tom Cox starting at center. Alec is the emotional leader, the holler guy up front. And Rutgers, he's got the job to go against Ron Holm. Second down and nine. Crutcher up to the 35. Well, then Reggie Rogers at six foot seven, a basketball player. Ron Holmes, he might be the best in the country in this spot. Albert coming on, playing with confidence. And Tony Lewis, he's the unsung guy. Very, very quick. 
and Fred Small leads the Pac-10 in tackles for loss. You know, other than the front three in that defense, the rest of that defense runs four, six, or better, Gary. They are very quick. That's why they get a lot of people around the ball and get a lot of turnovers. On a third and six, here comes Crutcher, and Crutcher is going to be way short of the first down. That was Ron Holmes, the man we mentioned, number 90 over there. Nice opportunity to rush Troy Richardson and either block a punt or make him think about that pressure the rest of the day. This is the leading punt returner in the Pac-10, Ron Milas standing back. They debated whether to have Richardson kick or a freshman by the name of Green. So Richardson gets the first opportunity. He did not hit it that well. There's a flag on the play. Milos lets it bounce. And the punt will go out of bounds at the 25-yard line. But a penalty. Illegal motion. Team not set. Against the offense. Fourth down. Earl Sor One that Polner just soon not have. This time he doesn't hit it very well either. And they're going to get a better roll, though. It's going to go down to the 15-yard line, and so Washington should not have taken that penalty. And not only that, Ron Milas, number 12, the punt returner, made a mistake, though he should have called a fair ca catch and caught the ball and prevented, oh, maybe 10 more yards. Well, that's where Washington will have it. Walt Hunt, Jock Robinson in the backfield. Just underway in the first quarter, no score. Pitch to Robinson. Robinson out to the 15, close to the 17-yard line. Dwayne Pickett, he'll be a number one draft pick. He's a premier player. Brian Luck, he's a three-year starter for the Trojans. Colorado is slippery in the estimation of his defensive coordinator, and Brent Moore is a former linebacker playing a defensive tackle, and Jack Del Rio, one of 12 finalists for the Lombardi Award. Give up the middle to Walt Hunt. Hunt stopped by Luck. Hope. He calls the defensive signals. Keith Biggers, he is the fastest linebacker for the Trojans. Tommy Haynes, their best athlete back deep. Hopper, the fastest man at the other corner. Jerome Tyler, consistent. And they think Tim McDonald is in the mold of a Kenny Easley. Third down and four now for Washington. Pressure put on by Haynes, and getting it off beautifully was Sicaro. The pass complete to Jock Robinson, and that will be enough for the first down. First down. The initial first down of the game. Sicaro, a tough pass to catch at best, as Danny Green, the intended receiver, 26 and a half. Sicaro off to Robinson. Robinson across the 30, still fighting for additional yardage. Neil Hope makes the stop at the 33-yard line, where it'll bring up third down. Thank you, Pat. What upset. Third down and two. Sicaro back, pressure from Del Rio, and almost caught. Nice effort that time by Walt Hunt, the fullback. He's been asked to be more spectacular in the past, but this year he's played very, very well. Darrell Hopper for USC receives a punt at the 20. That's to the 25, and he's dropped there. Cleveland, 25-yard line, first down, no score. In motion, Cormier gives the Crutcher. Crutcher out to the 30-yard line, a pickup of four, second down coming up, six yards to go. Green to Crutcher again, and Crutcher has a first down for USC to the 38-yard line. USC, all five of their plays have gone to Crutcher thus far. Now Green to throw for the first time, and wide open. That's Randy Tanner, number 23, first down to the 42-yard line of Washington. Well, fall six times, that has to hold some linebackers, and Tim Green has a strong arm. He can drive the football in between linebackers, and that's exactly what he did. And this is exactly what Ted Toner wanted, the kind of start that Tim Green wanted to have. Ease him into the football game. Don't ask him to do too much. Now he has his team in very good field position. 20-yard pickup to the 42 of Washington. No score in this first quarter of play. Cormier in motion. Throw to the far side. It was deflected, I believe. Tim Ware, the intended receiver. And it was this man, Ron Holmes, who had a hand on the ball. Oh. That Southwest Conference is kind of a battle now, isn't it? That, by the way, that pass deflection by Holmes now for the year gives him seven of them. Here's a gift straight ahead of Kennedy Polo. The fullback, the ball is loose. They're piling at the 34-yard line. Kennedy Polo playing his best football of his career. He's had some injuries this year. It'll be the Trojans football at the 34. You Third down and two. That was Fitzpatrick that saved the football for USC, the big offensive lineman. Cormier, reversing direction. Play action by Green, beautifully caught, and Cormier dropped the football. Who's hit 11 of 15. His longest this year has been 53. 
It's good. The one yarder, two yards shorter than his best this year. He's won two games this year for the Trojans, and he gives them the early lead. USC three, Washington nothing. Number one ranked Huskies trailing. Steve Jordan has given the Trojans a three to nothing lead, his fourth field goal of 50 yards plus this season. Anzel Hill and Danny Green will go back for the kickoff. 6.56 left to go in the first quarter. This is Hill, and Hill out to the 18-yard line. He swarmed under there. Junior Thurman, Dennis Thurman's brother, who plays for the Cowboys, made the stop. Finney is now in at fullback for the Huskies. Roden goes in motion to give to Finney. And the sophomore is to the 20-yard line, a pickup of two. It'll be second and eight. Del Rio, healthy him. Didn't play a lot the other week, but he's ready to go. Sicaro on a second down eight. Over the middle, Danny Green. And Green has a catch that moves the ball to the 48-yard line, a 31-yard completion. Once again, Paul Sicaro stayed in under a heavy rush. You can't say enough about this young man early in the football game because USC is putting some pressure on you. You see some people right there in his face. But USC was in a situation where there was no center fielder. There was nobody there in the middle of a field. Hard completion at the 48 of USC. Sicaro to throw again. And this one will be dropped by David Trimble. Incomplete. Tommy Haynes, number nine, defending on the play. He's back at quarterback. They changed that. Second and ten from the 48. Jock Robinson, nothing. Tommy Haynes, number nine, made sure of that. Stank. Third and 11, here's Sicaro. Open again is Green, and Green steps out of bounds. He'll be just short of the first down. It's inside the 40. He needs to get actually to the 38 and a half. Thing. Cleveland then will come in on a fourth down to punt the football. You're going to get a good look at some footwork by number 80, Danny Green. Now, he is known as a long strider, but the nice thing about him here, after he catches the football, he's able to keep those feet dance a little bit. He was a little upset with himself, though, because he did run the pattern, oh, a half a yard, a yard short there, Gary, and that was a critical mistake, actually, by Green, and not running that pattern one yard deeper, and you have a, a field goal situation. So on fourth down, Don James elects to go to the punt. Thane Cleland tries to keep it in, and he's not going to be able to. He's batted back into the field of play. It'll bring it out to the 20-yard line. Well, Tim Green for USC has settled down a little bit earlier than they anticipated. Here comes Crutcher, and Crutcher out across the 25 let's see what they marked him out of bounds jc pearson the cornerback over there it'll be a pickup of eight yards it'll be second down and two ron holmes number 90 there in the middle of your screen of washington is a legitimate all-american candidate an outstanding player this is going to be a great battle today he, him between ken rutgers number 77 there he gets past rutgers but the second trojan blocker is able to knock him down and allowed crutcher to get to the outside and that usc pitch pick up all oh, what eight nine yards they have, in effect, three tight ends in on this play. Ormier in motion. Gives a crutcher on a gain of two that they need, and he has more than enough for the first down. Out to the 32. Who scared the Dickens out of Texas last week, and they're playing TC Utah. That was a first down run a moment ago. Green over the middle. Completes to Boyer, the tight end. Mark Boyer advances the ball to the 39. A pickup of six. Second and four. Joke on a second down. Green off to Crutcher. Crutcher's going to be a little bit short of the first down. Joe Kelly, Steve Albert, 90. Not being shut out of 186 games last year. That's an NCAA record for USC. Here's Crutcher on the third down. He has the first down to the 45. Tim Neamber, J.C. Pearson, 35, first down. Cormier in motion. Green wants to throw. Protection is there. Norman is there. And Norman has a first down catch at the 35. You see all the white shirts around USC. They always bring a guy in and they knock that ball loose right off. Stanford, here's Ron Holmes, number 90, against 76. Tom Halleck, there is some holding going on there, I guarantee you. 
That was a 22-yard completion to Norman now, who keeps the string alive of 20 straight gains, catching at least one pass. 22-yarder, and now Green is 4 of 6 for 51 yards. Crutcher inside the 30. There's a penalty flag. Crutcher stopped at the 28. He first down and 20. Armier in motion. Crutcher again. Check that. Check that. Ryan Knight, the freshman, inside the 40-yard line to the 38. Joe in 501 yards in one contest. And thus far as a freshman, Ryan Knight has run for more yards than Marcus Allen did as he, uh, when he was a freshman here. A long ways to go. Second and 14. Green, pressure. He's in trouble. He's got rid of it. Averting a long loss that time. Their speed merchant split out. Green. That's going to be picked off, intercepted. Besty Jackson, 27. 25th interception this year by Washington. And for Jackson, his fifth. Cover the tight end has to be open. First down just across the 30-yard line. Doc Robinson. Wayne Pickett, number 80 there defensively. To aggressive on defense, they put so much pressure on the quarterback. They love to run and hit the RH factor, as Don James talks about it. Here is Jacques Robinson on a second down and eight across the 35 to the 37. Sicaro on the roll, deflected and incomplete. Here's Cleveland with another fine punt. Darrell Hopper will return it to the 28-yard line. Six seconds left in the first quarter. Green on a deep handoff to Crutcher. Crutcher across the 30 to the 31. Steve, the first quarter, and the Trojans have the lead. They lead it three to nothing. We'll return after this commercial break, and a word from your local. down seven from their own 32-yard line. Green it out to Crutcher. Crutcher will be short of the first down across the 35 to the 36. Joe Kelly, and that shows you the speed of Kelly along with Bestie Jackson over to make the stop. It'll be third down and three. USC turned the ball over five times last week. Third down and two yards to go. Cormier in motion, busted play, and Green, he got the first down. Excellent ad-lib effort to the 41. Tony Lewis and Reggie Rogers got him. Previous starts. On a first down, Green tended for Cormier, and all six, six of them. USC has had some very successful first halves, as that statistic would show you. And the second half has been Washington's half. Here comes Crutcher. On a second down, 10. Crutcher across the 45 to the 46. Kennedy Polo, the only set running back on this play. Cormier in motion. Green in some difficulty. And he's not going to get the first down this time because Tim Neamber was there. Down next week, Michigan, Ohio State, right here on CBS from Ohio Stadium. Ivis will receive this punt from Troy Richardson. And not a very artistic punt, but it might be effective. It's going to be. Look at this. They've got it at the one. Gary, that is the second critical mistake by Ron Milas, number 12, the punt returner. He has to get up and fair catch those balls. Now, he leads the Pac-10 in punt returns, but he's allowing the ball to hit the ground. And when you do that, you're going to give up big plays like this. USC has got Washington backed up. 99 yards against either of these defenses. Nicarol trying to wedge it out of there. Danny Green goes in motion. Sicaro getting off, and Josh Robinson is almost dropped for a safety. Neil Hope, 54, got him. That Washington is conservative by nature. They, knows they, they know they want to run the football down here, so they get into gaps, they shoot the gaps, they penetrate. Sicaro giving off again to Robinson, and they're going to have to punt the football. He's out to the five. Hope again. Here's Cleland. No big rush put on. Darren Hopper has it at his 48 to the 40, and he'll advance it to the 37-yard line, a 42-yard punt, 12-yard return. Mark Larson made the tackle to 37 of the Huskies. Green, beautiful protection. 
direction. Going deep. Intended down there for Norman. Knight now has come in and tailback for the Trojans. Army A in motion. Here's Ryan Knight. Inside the 35 to the Dodgers has come out. They bring in another defensive back, Ron Milos. Green gives to Knight. Knight will not get the first down. He's to the 30-yard line, and it's fourth down. Well, you mentioned 47-yard attempt now by Jordan, who earlier kicked a 51-yarder. Kicks on the way, and Jordan is two for two. First down. Now find themselves trailing six to nothing. Jordan kicking off to Hill, and Hill deep will not bring it out. Well, USC gained 18 yards in the last exchange of punts, too, so it has been a field position game just as we anticipated. Sicaro giving off to Jock Robinson. The MVP in the Rose Bowl in his freshman year, and he'd like to get back to the Rose Bowl again. Neil, very interested in what's happening to Iowa. I understand Chuck Long was dressed for that game, had not played early. Sicaro back over the middle. First down catch. Lonzel Hill, the son of J.D. Hill, who was an outstanding player at Arizona State and later in the National Football League. 15. First down. Give to Finney. Finney out to the 40-yard line. A pickup of two, maybe three. Rex Moore and Neil Hope combining on this. Second down, seven. Green in motion. Handoff straight ahead. Finney again. Maybe a yard more. It's going to be third down coming up. Third and six. It is turn. On a third and six. Thrown away. Danny Green, the intended receiver. And Washington not doing a very good job on third down. Well, on first down defense. Here is Cleveland with a very high punt. Fair catch is called for and made by Tommy Haynes at the 25. 43-yard punt by Cleveland. On the 25, Crutcher starts USC's drive and moves it out to the 28-yard line. Comparable to some of those. Well, it's a big offensive line. It's relatively young. The thing that USC has done about their offensive line is made it a glamour position. They've promoted those guys. They've given them a lot of publicity. When you're a big kid and you're going up to the Los Angeles area, a lot of big kids want to come here because they feel they're going to get some recognition. Second down, seven. That line average is 275 pounds. Here is Crutcher to the 30-yard line. line. From the 30-yard line, third down, five for the Trojans. Green, a little short. Intended back at the 15. We've got new stat, punt and then roll. <laughs> What's he got, a 20 and an 18-yard roll? Well, it's the end result, right? Big rush probably one of his better efforts as far as being hit and Milos is dumped. He did not call for the fair catch and he was pelted at the 35-yard line by Greg Coetz. Five after a 35-yard punt. Six to nothing USC. Jock Robinson bursts out of there. First down run. The back-to-back -back three touchdown game. After the 13-yard gain, a first down to give to Walt Hunt the fullback. He may have gotten to the midfield stripe, but fixed it. Unbelievable. We're looking forward to seeing he and Doug Flute in a few weeks. That'll be Thanksgiving Friday on CBS. Ficaro throwing behind Danny Green. Third down now. Eight yards to go for Washington. Green in motion. Sicaro on target to Jock Robinson, and he's very close to the first down. Daryl Hopper, 14 over to make the tackle. Hunted. We'll keep track of that. We thought this game wore on. That might be one of the big coaching decisions. What to do on fourth? Here's Cleveland hit at a mile high. And that is the reason he had two of them on the three-yard line last week. He's come up with another one, a 39-yard punt. He gets that ball so high, effective punt by St. Cleveland. 
Cormier in motion. Give to Ryan Knight, and he'll go nowhere. Fred's one area that they want to work on. That's the only thing he lacks. He's got everything else. Second down, 11th. Hole of the fullback, and nothing going there. Reggie Rogers made sure of that. Game of field position. Be busy January 1st. In motion goes Cormier again. On the third down, Green to throw from the end zone. Too tall. And his receiver couldn't get up high enough. And that... Got it off, and that is not very well hit. And a bounce out of bounds in the vicinity of the 40-yard line, and Washington will have the field position they have been missing. That was a 33-yard punt. Is the problem, and part of that is because they have been backed up, but now they've got a very good field, a shorter field to work with. On the 39, Sicaro on first down, wide open is Patterson. He'll first down from the 22. USC leads it six to nothing. Sicaro back. Far side, wide open, but overthrown. Throws full picture, especially if Iowa loses. Here's Sicaro. Patterson, that is a remarkable catch inside the five at the four, first and goal. If USC's defensive scheme, they ask their safety to cover an awful lot of ground, but they aren't quick enough to get over and cover the outside, the deep outside, right that instance. And Mark Patterson there catches a beautiful throw by Sicaro. The key here, Sicaro had protection. Remember, early in the first quarter, Sicaro was rough. But there, Sicaro had a lot of time to throw the ball. First and goal at the four. Straight ahead football this time by Robinson. Outside, touchdown. The top ranked Huskies have the lead. Don James' team seized its field position. You're going to see the end result of that. The best field position of the day, remember, here, Jock Robinson. They wanted him to become a better four yard runner. He's always trying to break the long run. But Don James wants him to be a three and four and five yard runner as well. There he is. Great vision allows it in the first half. Hit this one, and they're going to rule it went out of bounds. So they'll have the five yard penalty. It will be Jager. And there'll be a return on this one by Albert Watts. Watts knocked down at the 28-yard line, a 26-yard return. Oh, I'll tell you, we got a lot of football coming up, don't we? And basketball. Green deflected, almost picked off by Meamber, number 42, and he is be the way they pick off so many of those. And there was an example of another near miss. Meamber has four interceptions this year. Second down, 10, Crutcher trying to go wide, and it's just not going to go. Ron Holmes is over to the lone running back behind Green on this third down. Complete. Catch is made by Norman, and that'll be a first down. Out across the 42 to the 43, a 14-yard completion. The USC should call a timeout here. Down just short of the 45. 48 seconds left in the first half. This time, Cormier, he, did he get out of bounds? Well, he should have. Well, he didn't, did he? No, he did not. Fred Small was over there, and with an eight-yard pickup on the play, the clock with 37 seconds, and USC asked for a timeout. Ford have two timeouts remaining. They have to use those well, allow Jordan that opportunity. They're right now at the 48. They need to get to the 35 at least. Green. Had that been caught, they'd have been at the 38-yard line, but Tanner said two yards to go, but more importantly, with 34 seconds left. This pass, and going out of bounds is Cormier. It looks like he got enough for the first down, and he stopped the clock. It is a first down. Fred Small over to make the stop, and that's where a big target comes in handy. And Joe Cormier knew exactly how far he had to go to get the fir uh, first down. It was needed two yards, a pretty good rush by Washington, the short, safe pass to the out. Here is his offensive coordinator. First down from the 45. Green with Holmes coming after him. He got rid of it. Norman, the intended receiver at the 25. Documentation and all those big upsets we've had back in the East. Green back again. Protection breaking down, and he sacked back at the 46 by Reggie Rogers. Outside. Pat, you were a quarterback.
USC, and we just wanted to go back and uh, kind of capture some of those moments. <laughs> oh, my. There he is. A little oh, hippie yeah. there in his earlier time. Yeah, number 10. Have they retired that number yet? Goodness gracious. Look, don't have quite as much hair. You know what? There I am. You know what? I must be getting taller. I'm going right through my hair. I'm growing right through it. Here we go. Third down and 19. Gleason, beautiful catch by Timmy Ware. Uh, did he get the first down? No, it looks like he's a little bit short of the first down. He is, and USC is going to ask for their final timeout. Sacrifice his body a little bit. His Washington defense playing secure and safe. It allowed a little bit of a gap there for Timmy Ware, number 19, to catch the ball. A fine catch and a fine throw by Green. A little symbolism there. Who got it for Jordan to have a shot at it. And this will be a 53-yarder, which would match his best of the season. He kicked a 53-yarder against Washington State. Thus far, two of two in this game. He's hit one from 51 and one 47. Remember, Washington has been very good at blocking punts and kicks all season long. Jordan is one of those guys, Pat, that impressed me. You know, they always talk about field goal kickers very honestly being flaky. He's not. He's one of the guys. He's solid. He's a solid guy. Unusual. <laughs> Here we go. 53 yards away. Four seconds left in the first half. No good. Jordan misses on his third attempt, and we have come to the close of this first half of play. The Rose Bowl at stake. The second half underway, and Jeff Jager kicks that one into the end zone, and the Trojans will start from their own 20-yard line, trailing 7-6. Exactly the same. Field position's been the key. Don James' team seized his one opportunity where he had decent field position to put the ball in the end zone. You get the feeling they're waiting for somebody to break. You know, it's exactly right. They're waiting, waiting, waiting. They're like buzzards out there, waiting for something to happen. At the 20-yard line, Green gives to Crutcher. Crutcher is across the 25 to the 26. The 26, second and four. Cormier in motion. Crutcher again. Oh, was he belted this time. Ron Holmes, who had in the first half six tackles and two deflected passes, led that charge along with Joe Krakowski. A true impact player. Third down now and four. Crutcher again, and he's going to be close. Trying to struggle for it, and I think his second effort got him the first down. He did. To the 31, Kelly and Lewis made the stop. And the trenches for the Rose Bowl, everybody knows what's at stake. There is a great deal at stake, and here is one reason Fred Crutcher realizes that to get to Pasadena on January 1st, he has to pick up four yards on third down, and he does that. He had 860 yards coming into the football game. A couple of years, White and Allen went over 2,000 yards. Third down, first down, rather, from the 31. Here comes Crutcher again, and the angle. Ryan Knight replaces him. Second down, virtually 10 to go. Norman, that is a fine catch. The 49, first down. J.C. Pearson with the tackle, 17-yard pickup. High by USC here in the second half. They've run the ball. Fred Crutcher, what you said, five straight times. Then they come back and find Hank Norman, number 83, on an in route. The 21 now is green for 115 yards. He does have the one interception. Give to Ryan Knight. Knight able to back across the 50 to the 49. It's even a little bit more interesting. USC is trying to get back to where they once were. Second down. A long seven. Green setting up. Belted from behind. And hit hard that time. Ted this. Third down and seven. Pressure put on again, and Green had to get rid of it. It was Albert who was putting the pressure on. Troy Richardson to punt the ball. Miles back. Let's see if he'll be fair catch this one. Kicked away from him. Going to hit, and this time does not take a USC bounce. Going to be ruled out of bounds across the 25 to the 26 yard line. That punt was only 22 yards in Washington with good field position. Now with good field position across their own 25 to the 26. Sicaro pitching to Jacques Robinson. 
And the Cardinal of Gold led by Tim McDonald over there to make the stop. Talking to some of the pro scouts, no question he'll go in the first round. Back to throw, Sicaro, wide open this time. Catch by Danny Green, first down, across the 45 to the 47. The nice thing about this throw by Paul Sicaro, it is right on time. Just as Danny Green is turning around, the ball is delivered by Sicaro. It did not allow, allow the USC defense to be able to react. 71-yard touchdown on a punt. Well, they've been tough in the third quarter. Tremble goes in motion. Pitch to Robinson. Check that. Cookie Jackson is in the tailback. And Cookie Jackson across the 50 to the 46-yard line. In motion. Just broke from the tight end. Get the Cookie Jackson. Jackson very close to the first down as he crosses the 45. 350 yards rushing, I believe. Only one of eight. They have not been good. They're mostly they've been long third down situations. Straight ahead. Doc Robinson who checked in, and he has a first down for the Huskies. Keith Biggers and Colorado make the stop again. A little bit real, and when they're running to them, they block them well. They're trapping them, and they're man blocking them. First down at the 849 mark of the third quarter. Doc Robinson inside of the Pac-10. They are loaded with good ones this year. Second down and seven. Sigaro wanting to throw. Far side, complete to Green. Green to the 35 and thrown back. Sicaro is going to be sacked. Figures was the first to get there. Number 17, and Ted Toner likes what he sees. First sack of the game by the Trojans. He's a piss on that sack. That's a good point, Pat. You were just talking about how conservative they were going to be. Air catch is being called for by Hopper. Just for him. <laughs> the owner of the Los Angeles Lakers, Jerry Buss. Football fan as well as a basketball fan. He used to teach here at Southern Cal. Did you know that? No. He did. From the 20-yard line, pitch back to Ryan Knight. Knight out to the 23. Reggie Rogers made the tackle. The Southwest Conference story. Let's get it now. In New York from Pat O'Brien. The Horned Frogs are continuing to impress. Here's Ryan Knight on a second down and seven. Out across the 25. Tony Lewis in this place. Cormier in motion. Green on the roll. Broken up beautifully at the last moment by J.C. Pearson. Before the very quick defensive back for Washington. See, Hank Norman's open, but that speed can make be a great difference maker. Make up a lot of lost ground. We have a different putter. Paul Green, number 45, has come in for USC. He's a freshman out of Fresno. So Troy Richardson, after the last effort, has been uh, momentarily benched. And here comes Green. Big rush. He hit it wobbly. Milas lets it hit. He's got to get out of the way of it. It's taking a roll, and USC gets a break. It's going inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Good roll at the 29-yard line. Stick roll, rolling out. Gets a block. And throws complete to Danny Green. I didn't know who his intended receiver was there for a moment, did you? Here's Danny, Danny Green, number 80. He's in the right place at the right time. Pitch back. Cookie Jackson. Jackson. Gets an opening, and he's to the 40-yard line. Tyler over to make the stop. 12 to four. Right now, his team with a one-point lead. First down from the 40. Jackson again. Pretty good depth when you can take Robinson out of there and then come back with Cookie Jackson. Both of the screen. Just broke the tight end moving around. Pitch to Jackson. Jackson bouncing out. Very resourceful run inside the 35-yard line to the 33. Tim McDonald, number six, making the stop. Third and two, Sicaro. Wide open and dropped by Patterson. We're talking about him making the tough catches. Well, that was an easy catch. For this much room, again, third and two is the situation. Sicaro gets to the corner. Patterson is wide open, a huge cushion for him. Sometimes when you're that wide open, you're thinking about turning back upfield. has hit 19 of them this year. It's got enough distance, but it's no good. And so USC, after having Washington march into their end of the field twice, have been able to stymie him once with a scoring position. But it's a third and two situation. The Rose Bowl's on the line. Those kind of plays can keep you out of the Rose Bowl on January 1st. Let's keep that in mind as this game goes along, Gary, and see how it plays. Well, Jager then had to attempt a 49-year score, USC, as they have the football at the 31-yard line. 
7-6. Washington with the lead. Green, wide open is Timmy Ware, and Ware to the 45, a 23-yard completion. And the speed burner, the speed merchant on this team, stood. And by the way, that last pass completion was the longest gain of the day for USC. Green back. I don't know where that was. Three minutes, 39 seconds left in the third quarter. Green. That's Ware again, and Timmy Ware has a first down catch at the 34. Besky Jackson over there, a 12-yard completion, and the veteran Ware. This time he did audible. He saw a little safe pass out there to number 19, Timmy Ware. Watch all the cushion that Timmy Ware is going to have. There was a blitz on. That means the, the uh, defensive quarterback played very soft. Tim Green called the right audible, and those are the kind of audibles that are going to get a team in a Rose Bowl. 12 of 27, 149 yards for Green. One interception. Ware, who runs on the USC track team, using that speed a good advantage. Here's a gifted crusher. He cuts against the grain to the 30-yard line. That's Cormier in motion. Hand off to Crutcher. Crutcher will be a couple of yards short of the first down. Getting close to the 26-yard line. Rod, and we have some movement on the line. Let's figure this one out. No, I think what, Patrick. <laughs> I think what happened to Tim Green there is he had a quick count and he decided to start directing some traffic out there <laughs> and James Fitzpatrick thought the ball was going to be snapped and boom, he got a penalty. Backfield behind Green. Green this time to throw. It's caught. Hank Norman. First down. 12-yard pickup on the play. Well, as we watch number 83, Hank Norman, by allowing Tim Green to get outside the outside the containment this time and buy himself a little bit more time and allowed Hank Norman, who was getting pretty good man-for-man -man coverage, a little bit of extra time to bump off the white the uh, defensive back and find a little dead spot in the air in the uh, territory there for Green to hit him. 7-6, Washington with the lead. Green, pullback puller, and he is straightened up. That is the kind of football Washington's played all year long. He's the same as the starter. They use four linebackers all the time. Here comes Crutcher. Crutcher inside the 15. He'll make it close to the 13. Reggie Rogers dropped him. Pick up a six on the play. Tackle. Give to Crutcher. And Crutcher has it first and goal. has been very successful running to the, their weak side over James Fitzpatrick. Fred Crutcher for the second time today comes up with a big third down four conversion on a run. Again, it was a nice hole for Crutcher, but again, you saw some of the intensity, some of the desire to be there January 1st and the block to be able to play that position. First and goal at the five. Three to Crutcher. It will be second and goal from the three. Football. Now Washington is leading seven to six at USC. They're seven to six at USC. They're close. This is the eleventh play on this drive. Green to Crutcher. Going to be third and goal. Boy, that's good defense. That is very good defense. Fred and goal. Crutcher again. This is just USC sweep play. Fred Crutcher decided he was going to get in the end zone, and that's exactly what he did. But it was a big, big drive. We saw some big runs by Fred Crutcher. It was a time-consuming drive. He kept 
Washington's offense off the field. Fred Crutcher picking up a couple of big first downs with third and four yard runs. And Tim Green coming up with a big pass. Has to win. The kickoff, Lonzel Hill. Trying to go wide, and he's not going to get there. And this is a fired up Trojan team. Martin Prince down to make the stop. 13 to 7, USC with a lead. Let's go back to New York. 13-7, 14-07 left in the game. Hunt, Robinson the running back, Sicaro to throw. And he overthrew Walt Hunt, his fullback. Fourteen minutes left in the game. Sicaro picks him back to Jock Robinson. He comes through the initial charge. Up across the 20 to the 21, a gain of seven. It'll be defensively. They mean USC. Sicaro back on a third down. Broken up. Two defenders going up against Lonzo Hill. Jerome Tyler was the defenders around Hill. The ball is up in the air. Again, pressure was on Sicaro that made him throw the ball a little bit high. But he hit it well. Hopper goes back, has it inside the 40, and he brings it to the 49-yard line. For the trope. And they were shooting too for their, not only the Rose Bowl, but the first national championship in Washington history. Here comes Ryan Knight. Knight close to the 45. Tim Neamber making the stop. A pick of the fourth. Second down and six. Ryan Knight. The freshman close to a first down. Joe Krakowski made the tackle. There's going to be any records left after this year is over. Now we're team in 72. On a third down and a short yard, USC gets a first down with Pola, the fullback. Albert made the tackle. Time. First down from the 40. Ryan Knight. Struggles for a couple of yards and slammed back. The ball loose, but blown dead. And now some pushing out there. Cormier and Fred Small are going after each other. Joe Kelly was in on the tackle. Himself pretty well in the first championship game. You could see Meamber returning to the lineup. Second down and nine. Crutcher. Crutcher inside the 35 to the 34. Vesti Jackson knocked him out of bounds. You understand the Gamecocks of the other USC. <laughs> Have scored again. USC with a third and four. They're close enough for Jordan in a field goal, as here is Crutcher, and I believe he has the first down. Let's see. But Ted Tolmer has decided to go for a field goal, which is the right decision at this time of the game to put your team up. Oh, if he makes the field goal, 16 to 7, forces Washington to score twice. Boy, could this make a difference, though, if they don't get this field goal? Looked like he might have the first down, a matter of a half yard, even less. And now Jordan will attempt the field goal. He is two of three. And this kick from 46 yards away is good. Steve Jordan trying to kick the Trojans to Pasadena. They lead it 16 to 7. Well, he has a little bigger arm than Sicaro, and perhaps this is the kind of situation where you want to bring, well, want to bring him in, although Sicaro has not played badly by any means. Washington will have to score twice as they trail 16-7. They down it. Still the quarterback. They have not come in with Hugh Mellon. Sicaro back to throw. Wide open. Roten. He falls down at the 25. A pickup of five. Kenny and John Robinson in the backfield. Row with time and he threw it behind Finney. Finney caught it, but he only picked up a couple yards. They're still going to be 30 yards short of the first down. Third and three today. Washington's converted only 17% of them for the year, 36. Sick row. That'll be enough for the first down. Catch made by Finney, the tackle by Dwayne Jackson, and the Huskies are still alive. And that the key to He's going to step up into the pocket, and then he finally find, looks way over to the right and finds Rick Finney for the first down, a big first down. Six-yard completion, back to throw, Sicaro again, and he wants to go for all of it, and his receiver fell down. It's intercepted by McDonald. Patterson fell down on the play. Here comes McDonald to the 45.
The Washington offense over the years has been an offense that has not turned the ball over much, particularly not in critical situations. But remember, Gary, the Washington offense has not had to win any football games this year. They have not really had to bring their team from behind much. Their defense has won football games. Their offense is in a completely different role today. McDonald, his fourth interception, you could see on that replay where Patterson fell down. He was the intended receiver, and Crutcher carries four yards. And first turnover by the Huskies of the 7.23 left in the game. USC with a 16-7 lead. Crutcher into the Washington end of the field to the 48. Tim Peoples made the stop. That offensive line has really done a job here in the second half. On a third down and three, a first down run. And a penalty flag at the 45-yard line. Going to be tackling by face mask. The offensive line of USC really has dominated here in the fourth quarter in the second half, and they really have had to. Watch number 76, Tom Halleck, on Ron Holmes, does his job of controlling the line of scrimmage, allowing Fred Crutcher again on a third and three situation. They went to Crutcher. And First down on the 37th of Washington. Green gives to Crutcher, and number 90 is there again. Crutcher. Crutcher got those two yards back that he lost. Joe Kelly on the stop of the one, and they may be eight and one. Crutcher stopped again, and again it's Ron Holm. Boy. has rushed the ball 17 times in a row and Ron Holmes has been in on most of those tackles believe me we'll see a lot of him in the future in the NFL and now to punt the ball is going to be green the freshman who came in the last time clock running with 438 left potential punt block here remember they have blocked four punts this season Signals for the fair catch, and Green kicks that one out of the back of the end zone. And that's the 20. Paul Sicaro, the quarterback. Again, he's going deep. That ball is a wounded duck. I don't know what happened, whether it was deflected or it slipped out of his hand, but it's in. And Robinson in the backfield. 4.15 left in the game. Pressure again. Sicaro hits Green, but he's down. I mean, it's just not quite been 100% today. Sicaro, third down, oh, throw back, complete to Robinson, and Robinson has a first down, but there's a penalty play. You should know. Holding against the defense, penalty decline, oh, first down. Uh, Washington is, I don't understand that call. I, I don't know where the holding was, but anyway, first down for Washington. Catch by Hill, he caught it twice. When he caught it the second time, he wasn't as far up the field. Top right here by number nine, Tommy Haynes. The ball pops up. Hill has the presence to go be able to go back and get it, but he lost, what, two or three yards in doing so. Pick up a seven. Second down three. 2.47 left. Sicaro going deep. Hill is there. It's up for grabs and incomplete. Third down for three. That ball was thrown over the head of Walt Hunt. Defending was Neil Hope, 54. Fourth down in the national championship on the line as well as the Rose Bowl. He threw to his tight end who was trying to throw a block. I don't think he saw the football. And Sicaro is shaken up on the play. Getting up slowly at the third. It usually means a shoulder. Again, tremendous pressure. Number eight, Matt Johnson's a defensive back, and there's Colorado, number 92, coming in. Sickerow's really had tremendous pressure all day. The ball was intended for 88, Roten, the tight end. Same, obviously. Both mentally and physically. Wait a minute. Flag before the ball was snapped. 2.23 left. That was Danny Green, the agony on his face. Crutcher to the 45-yard line. Second down, 11. Crutcher inside the 40. Krakowski made the stop. 
for the Washington Huskies. Eight solos, three assists, and two pass deflections. And Steve Jordan with three field goals for USC. A check in the amount of $1,000 will be donated by Chevrolet to each college's general scholarship fund. One timeout left for Washington. Third down. Six yards to go for USC. Crutcher straight ahead. And you see the time left. They just used their last time out. Two minutes, five seconds left in the game. Hunting the ball on fourth down is Paul Green. Very good protection. Milas lets it hit, and USC is down there again. 30-yard punt, and they have it at the six-yard line. Well, we said it was a day of defense and special teams in field position. It certainly has been that, and that down punt inside the 10-yard line by USA has been very indicative. As we watch Umill and the starting quarterback beginning the season. After four weeks, Washington will fall as the number one team in the country. Complete. Patterson breaks out of there to the 45-yard line, a first down. Tommy Haynes made the stop, a 38-yard completion, but too little too late. Secondary is expecting pass, so the ball had to get quickly because get there quickly because Patterson is not going to be open very long. After the 38-yard completion, they have it at the 45. Millen this time to Hill, and Hill goes up but can't come down with it. Second and ten from the 45. Millen again up top. And two of the USC defenders collide. That's Tyler, one of them, and Jackson, the other, and McDonald there. Something about USC Rose Bowl appearances. Well, they haven't been back there in a while, and they're going to be happy to be there. Washington and UCLA have really dominated the conference in the 80s. Co-MVP, John McKay, Jr. Hayden to McKay, complete. On third down, complete to uh, Roten, who goes out of bounds at the 50-yard line. He'll be... down and Millen back and it's complete to Green and Green has a first down catch at the 38. They're going to try to go without the huddle. They have no timeouts left and 11 in the game. Millen's just going to kill the clock and does. Second and 10 for the Huskies. Millen deep to Patterson tried to reach over Jackson. And it's third down. McKay, I'm sure he's watching this game. He's going to retire as coach at Tampa Bay this year. Millen. And that was almost an outstanding catch by Danny Green. This is fourth down with a minute three left in the game. And Millen won't go down. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Dwayne Jackson. And Jackson to the 42, and the Trojans are on their way to Pasadena. To see Neil Holt, number 54, Dwayne Beckett, number 80, has him in his grasp. He does get rid of the ball in desperation, hoping something good's going to happen. But something bad happened as Dwayne Jackson, number three for the Trojans, makes his second interception of the year. And again, the USA will be playing January 1st, but they haven't been in a long time. Less than a minute to go. And Tim Green goes to knee. No timeouts left. They drop to a knee again as time expiring. The Trojans returning to the Rose Bowl for the first time since 1980. The biggest win of this guy's career, Ted Tolman.